Hey fam, this is Gems. I wanted to bring this tweet to your attention from your favorite Kenyan white American president, uh, former president, Barack Obama. This is the tweet he had in response to the shooting in Buffalo. It says, this weekend's shootings in Buffalo offer a tragic reminder of the price we pay for refusing to curb the easy access to guns. It should also serve as a wake-up call for all Americans of goodwill, regardless of party. Now, where in the hell does it say anything about hate, uh, black people, any of that? This is what you got out of the shootings of a white supremacist traveling three to four hours away from his home to go shoot, to go to area an area known to have a lot of black people, post up there, case the place, come back the next day and, and murder 10 people. This is your response? Come on, man. You on a gun control uh, tirade basically for the Democrats? People, these black people have lost their lives and we need a protection bill. And he's out here talking about easy access to guns. Sir, <laughs> if it wasn't clear before what side he is on, is he on the side of what's right for black people or what's right for the Democrats? It's easy to see if you didn't see in those eight years he served as president. And I too voted for him two times. I wasn't as involved in the political process as I am now. And I didn't, you know, I just, oh, it's a black man. Let me go ahead and vote him in. But all black ain't the same. Again, Kenyan American and white American. Or, you know, so Kenyan and white American. That is not from the killing fields of America, of, of, of this United States. It's, it's a difference. They, a, lot, a lot of times the Democrats bring in these people, black looking people, that are from immigrant backgrounds because they don't want to do anything for the black Americans that are here that have been in these killing fields or descendants of those who were in the killing fields of America. They want us to get uh, to vote in their people to do their agenda, which never includes anything for black America. And I, for one, am tired of it. I'm not voting Democrat. I may not vote at all as a protest or I may protest vote as a Republican because they have to earn my vote back. Every single time we vote for them, they already count us as, as we're going to vote for them. They know we vote for them. And so they don't do anything for us. And it's time out for that. And I'm tired of it. I'm tired of the foolishness. Anytime it's something about us, they act like they don't know what's going on. They turn it and manipulate it into something for everybody. Or now it's gun control. All of their talking points, all of their agenda. But it's time out for that. And it's time we put their feet to the tap, hold their feet to the fire and and just, you know, not let this go by with them and just skating by saying, oh, well, you know, we're going to do something for everybody or this is we're tired of it, too. Now, let's get this gun control in order. No, 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 no. Let's get a black protection bill in order. Let's get resources to these black communities so that we're able to defend ourselves better and not be victim to everything that happens because we're we have no resources. And so, you know, I just wanted to bring this to your attention, family, because it pissed me off. And I hope it pisses you off, too, just because this is so wrong. This is so wrong. If when they had that whole Asian hate crime uh, that happened in Atlanta, when they, the man shot up the Asian at the sex parlor, uh, yeah, everybody wanted to say Asian hate, Asian hate. This, this man went out of his way not to say anything about black, anything about hate, anything about white supremacy. And, I, you know, it's just ridiculous at this point. But drop a comment. Let me know how you feel about it. Uh, make sure you like this video and subscribe. Hit the notification bell and select all so that you're notified every time I go live. Or, uh, well, yeah, every time I go live. But thank you so much for your time and attention. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Peace.